So did you watch the Champions League match where your team or one of your teams, Manchester United, got thrashed by PSV Eindhoven? Yeah, being a Chelsea fan, of course. I mean, I got to be happy because at least one of the teams is losing, especially after Chelsea was having this horrendous run in the Premier League. But yeah, it was nice watching one of the teams lose. So the, the funny part was that the guy who actually scored the winning goal, Luciano Narsingh, uh, he is of Indian origin, or at least he's Surinamese and his grandparents were of Indian origin, which meant that theoretically he could have played for the Indian football team. And back in 2012, apparently we had a chance at him, but we didn't take it because of our own rules and paperwork and, you know, the, the classic red tape. Wouldn't it have been great if Indian football, and he was interested in playing for India, that's the best part of it, if we could have had a world-class player, and he's only 25. But, but you know, Mohit, honestly, all the players, who are of Indian origin, they want to play for India. I think somewhere you're making your money. You've got a big name in the Dutch league or the English league or the Spanish league or wherever you're applying your trade. I think something in them always gets stirred up that they want to represent a country they've come from or their forefathers or their parents or whatever. I think if nursing was playing for India or if he had the opportunity and we had let him get that opportunity, which we'll come to later in terms of the rules, it would have been great for Indian football because you always need to look up to something. You always need to look up to an icon, an idol or a player who's already playing his trade in a league which you can only dream of or watch on television. In that way, what you're saying would have been such a perfect scenario for us that Indian football probably would have climbed up 10, 20, 30, 40 steps or those points table and probably be in the top 100. Let's come to the rules, but before we come to the rules, I just want to take you into a slightly different, uh, shall we say, sphere. What's happening with Chelsea? Because you brought Chelsea up, right? They're 17th in the EPL. And the only two top flight teams which I think are worse than them right now are Newcastle and Sunderland, you know, and they'll probably make it up. So what's going on there? Well, just imagine if this was the last week of the EPL, 2016, mm -hmm. you would have been probably four, three teams or four teams above the relegation zone, which is like unthinkable. I don't think there's anything wrong in terms of whatever is being said that the team is not gelling. I don't think there's anything to do with that. If you really look at the pre-season, I think that's where things probably have gone wrong. You and me and everybody else, we read the reports, we watch the team and we do all our analysis from there, what we see. I think they'll come together. 4-0 against Tel Aviv looks yeah, nice, I mean, but it's a weaker yeah, side. That, definitely. that was the sort of scoreline which you needed to do. Yeah, but then when you take off your main players, and you bring in this young, I mean, I watched Loftus Cheek yesterday and he was he was dominating the entire field. He got a he got a yellow in the first 40-50 seconds, but after that he dominated. I think they'll come together. I don't see them, I don't see them winning the league now because 11-12 points is just too much and to get this team back, get your forwards back, Hazard, if you play him or you don't play him, I think it's the same thing right yeah, now. And he missed a penalty, I think. He can never miss a penalty by shooting it over the bar. I mean, if a goalkeeper saves, at least you have tried. I mean, this was a no try. And it comes when the pressure is on you. I think the team definitely needed a few players. Definitely. The midfield is finished. There's no midfield. I don't think Fabregas will ever come back to the form he was in when he was with Arsenal, when he was with Barcelona, or whenever he played here for Chelsea last year. He was in top form. I don't think he's going to come back to that. If he comes back, it's going to be a miracle. I think they will take the transfer window around January, probably pop in a few players. And Mourinho's irritation, I think, is also because he must have asked for players. Mm. Let me tell you, three years, four years, five years back, or even three years back, they would have bought stones from Everton at whatever price. But I think there has been a line drawn, Abramovich or whatever the management, that you cannot go over perfect. This thing. I think they bid it 30 million, then they bid 38 or 35, but they didn't cross the 40 that probably Everton wanted. I think Stones and Stones is now being, is probably going to be bought by Real also because Madrid has thrown the hat in. Let's see what happens in January, but honestly, I don't think they'll win the league. If they finish in the top four, that itself is going to be an achievement. But luckily, at least, or unluckily for them, or for English football, uh, in the Champions League, you also had Man City lose and Arsenal lose in the first round. All the English sides lost, except, except for Chelsea. Chelsea. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's consolation. Anyway, coming back to nursing. So, what are the rules with regard to what's what's stopping them? Is FIFA stopping him from playing for India, or was it Indian uh, rules? No, in FIFA, FIFA's rules are very clear. That Indian origin, whichever origin you are, 
you can go and play for that country despite holding whichever passport you are holding. Let's say nursing as an example, he has a Dutch passport. He could have had a Dutch passport and played for India. FIFA says go ahead. I think what is going wrong is the Indian rules. Unless you have an Indian passport, you cannot play. Now, and the Indian uh, coach Constantine has actually said that he, he wants he's this been changed. Saying, he has been saying this for a long time now that it's time that the Indian Federation, Indians in general, realize that there is nothing harm in getting players because at the end of the day, if they are, if they are good enough, they will of course go and play in Europe or or some other or some other country. Right. I think the problem is is within the country. I think Indian government, MEA, whoever or the sportsman, needs to realize. You cannot actually ask a player to have an Indian passport. Why will he want an Indian passport in the first place? He he will have visa issues. He's going to have work permit issues. Indian passports don't get work permits so fast. Even if you are a big player, at the end of the day, they always look at what passport you're holding. Right. So I think that is the first stumbling block for a player like Narsingh. Why should he come and change to an Indian passport because he wants to play for India? His friends, his colleagues, his family will say, hey, you're getting 2 million, 10 million, 30 million to play here. Why are you going to go to India, change your passport, get into all of that, you know? But at the end of the day, Indian football would benefit by having players like him or would it be, are we losing some spots which could go to talented youngsters? What's no, the no, trade -off? no, I think, I think it's going to be huge. Let's, let's assume Narsing, big player for PSV, you know, scores a match winner against United, PSV wins 2-1. You're a big name in Europe. You get a player like that to play forward or midfield or defence and you get three or four players who are 25-30% less than nursing but still ply their trade in the top leagues. Where they've gone up against top players. Yeah, so your 11-member team already has six players or five players who are playing in Europe. Your players' confidence, mm -hmm. your domestic players' confidence, your coach and just imagine the opposition against you. They would know when nursing gets the ball, their defense is already thinking where the hell is he going to score from. So why are you not giving us, the country, India, the Indian team, a chance to do that? I think that is where the government needs to sit down and understand what world football is all about. World football is not about being patriotic. Fine, patriotism is, is always there. If nursing come and plays, I mean, it is patriotism, isn't it?